Hello, Carlos. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. I'm good. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Today is Friday, so I think that. Good it's... evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. How are you? Yes. Yes, Carlos. I'm fine. Just a little tired. I know, right? But finally, today is Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Yeah. You work in you, Carlos? Do you Me work? Too. Really? Okay. Okay. But I think that you work yes. till noon. Till noon, right? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, well, that's the good thing. All right, so guys, um, we have a couple of things for today. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Give me one second. So, yes. Okay, so we are going to start with today's class and we'll, while the other ones join uh, the class. So we are going to start. And we have uh, the warm map. We also have um, the information that we are going to cover today and the topic we are going to cover ordinal and cardinal numbers. We are going to talk about the simple present continuous as well. We are going to have some listening quizzes and we have uh, the simple present tense review as well. We have many different things today and we are going to start with a speaking. Okay, so let me ask you a couple of questions, guys. How often do you order delivery food? How often? Mm -hmm. Do you order delivery food every single um, two day? or three times a month? A month. Okay, very good. And you, Oscar? How two often? or three times as well? Okay. And you, Oscar? How often do you order delivery food? Well, I think that that was probably specific. Okay. So I think that Noemi is connecting, Marina is connecting. Let me see who else. Good evening. Good evening, Noemi. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. So what about your day? How was it? Tiring? So, so it was productive. How was your day? It was productive. It was exciting. It, uh, but today was a good day. Okay. I'm really happy to hear that, okay? That it was a really good day for you. Okay, uh, good evening, Joel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. You're fine? So what about your day? Was it good? Your day, Joel, was it good? I have I have a good day. You had a good day. Perfect. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mirna. I don't know if Mirna. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good evening. Okay, guys. So I was uh, asking a couple of questions to the guys, and let me ask you. Okay, how often do you order delivery food? How often do you order delivery food, Joel? How often? I mm -hmm. I sometimes I sometimes I sometimes or the delivery food. Perfect. Good evening, Brian. Good evening, Rosibel. And what about you, Rosibel? How often do you run? How often do you run? Mm, I. I run. Uh -huh. Um. Usually. Um. Sunday, Saturday. Okay. Perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I never run. You never run. Okay. Okay. In the morning, every day. <laughs> In the morning, every day for the bus, right? At work. Okay. At work. <laughs> yes, at work. That is true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how often do you go to the dentist? How often do you go to the dentist? Monthly. 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 Okay. And the other ones? 
How often do you go to the dentist? Never. I go monthly. I go monthly. Yes. You should go monthly. I go, I go, I go each three monthly. Monthly? Monthly. Okay. All right. And you, Joel, and you, Brian, and you, Mirna, how often do you go to the dentist? Uh, uh, one year. Once a year. A okay. year. Yes, okay. And you, Brian? How often? What? How often do you go to the dentist? Uh, once every six months. Month. Once every six months. Okay. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Now, let me ask you, how often do you eat candy? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Voy a estar un, un momento de, de oyente porque todavía estoy en la oficina. Okay, don't worry, okay. Janet. Yes, I understand. Okay, thank you. And how often do you eat candies then, guys? Seldom. I, I rarely eat candies. I rarely, okay, rarely, okay. Yes, rarely. Very good. And you know, Amy, how often do you eat candies? I rarely eat candies. Uh -huh, okay, most of you. Okay, got it. And how often do you have English classes? Let's see. How often do you have English classes? Five days a week. Five days a week. Very good. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. We usually have English classes. I have to Monday from Friday. From Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. To Friday. To, to, to. to, Friday. to Friday. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how often do you use the internet? I am what? always using the internet. You are always using the internet. Okay. Very good. And the other ones? I always do. We always, right, use the internet. Always. Nowadays, we should use the internet every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move, guys. So we are going to start with the topic for today. And the topic for today is cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Okay, guys, let me ask you something. Who knows? When do we use cardinal numbers? When do we use cardinal numbers, guys? First, second. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay, so let's see. Um, Rosibel, help us reading. Help us reading the definition and this list. Mm. Read. Read. Yes. You use you use esa sería verdad. Yes, yes, yes. You, you use cardinal numbers to express absolute numbers without any implication of position. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, coaching um, mathematical operation. Age, phone numbers, years, scores, percentage. Yes, percentages. Percentages. Yes, very good. Uh, Joel, help us reading the examples. Read examples. Yes, please. Yeah. There are three dogs, three divided by two. How do you equals. say it? Equals. Equals. Yes. Uh, one. No sé si decir así, one point. El punto. A clock. Oh. One, one of core five of core. Mm -hmm. I am eight years old. My phone number is 
seventy eight. It is. It is. It is twenty twenty two. You go. Hey, ¿cómo dijo el punto que decía? Point. 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 Yes. Seven point. Uh, uh, ten percent. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So the cardinal numbers are the ones that we use to express absolute numbers without any implication of position. So that means that cardinal numbers are the normal ones that we use. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 20, 30, 30, 40, 50, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, and 1 million. Those are cardinal numbers, are the normal ones, the normal numbers, okay? So we use them to count, all right? Lo usamos para contar, counting, mathematical operations, ¿ok? Age, la edad, con numbers, of course, years, scores, notas, ¿ok? O eh, puntajes, percentages, porcentajes, ¿ya? Yeah? So we have, there are three Dogs. You see, there are three. This is a normal number. This is a cardinal number. There are three dots. Three divided. Mire cómo se dice eh, tres entre dos. Three divided by two equals 1.5. Mm -hmm. Three divided by two equals 1.5. Mm -hmm. I am eight years old. The age, la edad. I am eight years old. My phone number is, what is your phone number, Joel? Mm, my, phone no, my phone number is... Y seventy three, seventy three, seventy, yeah, uh, seventy, yeah, uh, seventy nine, twenty three, twenty three, very good, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, so it is. 2022 or 2022, okay? Podemos decir 2022 or 2022. Both are correct. Then you got 8.7. For example, se sacó 8.7. You got 8.7, yeah? Then we also have 10%. 10%. Okay, 10%. This one is 10%, so it's 10%. Okay. Do you have any question? No? Okay. Let's move. All right. So we all. Okay. Thank you, Curtis. Now, ordinal numbers. When do we use ordinal numbers? Uh, Carlos, help us reading, please. The definition and the examples and this list. Okay. Ordinal numbers normally show the order or sequence of something or someone. Mm -hmm. Example, December 25th, mm -hmm. second place, on the 11th floor, mm -hmm. on the December 31st, mm -hmm. in the 15th century. That means dates, sequence or order, mm -hmm. floors of a building, 
birthdays, celebration, and centuries. Thank you. All right, guys. So as Carlos said before, ordinal numbers, okay, ordinal numbers are the ones that normally, normally show the order or sequence of something or someone. El orden o la secuencia. Order or sequence of something. We normally use ordinal numbers to talk about dates. Look at this. Dates, sequence or order, floors of a building, birthday or celebrations, and centuries. Okay, centuries. So we have the examples right here. December 25th, dates, fechas. December 25th. No, it's 25. It's 25th because we use ordinal numbers to talk about dates, right? Then we also have sweet sequence or order. Sequence or order. First place, primer lugar. Second place, segundo lugar. Third place, tercer lugar. Miren, orden o secuencia. Cuando se quiere decir primero me levanto, después Mm, me baño. So, first, I wake up. Second, I take a shower. Y empieza a dar una secuencia y un orden. Okay? Now, we also use ordinal numbers to talk about floors of a building. Miren los pisos de un edificio. Si usted quiere decir, en el piso 6, ¿cómo va a decirlo? On the six, pero mire con la th. Six. Yes, six. Y saca la lengüita. Six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the eleventh floor. Then we also have birthdays and celebrations. For example, on December thirty-first, a celebration, December thirty-first, right? And we also have centuries. What is the meaning of centuries? Siglos. Centenar. Oh, oh, siglo. no. Siglos. Yes. In the 15th century. Okay. Century. In which century are we in right now? In que siglo estamos? 25th. 21st? Uh, yeah, 21st. Yeah, okay, don't worry. Okay, so uh, 21st, siglo 21. Now, guys, ordinal numbers first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, th, okay, th, seventh, eighth, ninth. Tenth. All right. Es, tiene que sacar la lengua para que se escuche ese TH. Si usted no lo hace así, va a ser una a pronunciación incorrecta. Y recuerde, fíjese bien, el 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5 cambia. Mire, first, second, third. Ya no es three, es third. Ya no es one, es third. First, ya no es dos, ni two, es second. All right. Y mira el cinco, ya no es five, es fifth. Y como así vamos a ir poniéndolo, si decimos veinticinco, entonces no va a ser twenty-five, va a ser twenty-fifth. Porque usted le va a poner el número que es, de eso. Ok. So we then have, for example, if we want to say, um, what? If we want to say um, 21, 21 pero en fecha, date, no en número normal. 25. 21st. Esto suena como una E, guys. 
No es first, es first. First. Joel, when is your birthday? Excuse me. When is your birthday? My birthday? Yes. Just a... Uh, is uh, November November 11th. No, excellent. November 11th. Excellent. Uh, Rosibel, when is your birthday? My birthday my birthday is in January 28th. 28th. Noemi, when is your birthday? My birthday is on August 4th. Excellent. On August 4th. Maribel, when is your birthday? My birthday is... Oh, eh, apago el micrófono. Apago el micrófono, Maribel. Perdón. No worry. Eh, my brother is um, 23. Mm, Miren, yeah. ¿cómo se va a hacer 23? Le voy a poner este. <laughs> Ajá. This? 23rd. 23rd. Fair. First. Fair. First. No first. Third. Thirds. Uh -huh. Third. Third. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. When is your birthday, Brian? My birthday is December 11th. December 11th. Oh my God. Almost. Almost. Ya casi cumpleaños, Brian. Ya casi. My, my birthday is on December 10th. Okay, Janet, December 10th. Be before you. Anderson, Brian, December 11th. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. What about you, Carlos Amaya? When is your birthday? My birthday is on February 15th. 15th? Okay, very good. And you, Oscar, when is your birthday? It's uh, 17th August. August 17th. Very good. And you, Marina, when is your birthday? It's January 8th. January 8th. Almost. Almost here as well. And you, Giovanni? I think that Giovanni is driving, okay? Probably he cannot. Is November 18th. Oh my God. So we have started class on November 17th, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But okay, no, I think that no, I finished uh, another group that day. Okay, guys. So um, let's see. And you, teacher? Oh, me? Uh, um, yes, my birthday is October 24th. Oh. October, yeah. Yes, October. Okay. So now, guys, let's see. Um, do you have any doubt about these questions? Preguntas acerca de esto? Fíjese bien, guys. Okay. Los números cardinales son los normales. Los ordinales son los que utilizamos para decir primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, sexto, séptimo, doceavo y así. Okay. Okay. So if we want to say, guys, if we want to say, um, mi oficina está en el tercer piso. ¿Cómo va a decir eso? Mi oficina está en el tercer piso. My office is on third, on the floor. third floor. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. My office is on the third floor. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Yes. Okay, let's move. All right. So then we are going to start with ongoing activities at the workplace. And we are going to start with this conversation. Okay. Let me ask you a couple of questions first. Guys, do you mark your uh, events in your calendars? Do you sometimes. mark sometimes? No. Never? Never. So Never. That, now let me ask you, do you attend your events? Always. Always. Of course, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So use original numbers and organize activities by date of events. Okay, let's see. All right. Which are ordinal numbers? Remember ordinals? Third, second, third, fourth, etc. Okay. So let's see. I need two volunteers. One is going to be Susan and the other one is going to be Adele. Susan? Me. Okay. And Adele Brian. Joel, Susan, Brian, Adele. Go. Okay. Adele, Adele, please. Check my agenda. Mm -hmm. When is the meeting with the consultant? Mm -hmm. uh, on, on one day, November 12, 12, 22. 22nd. 22nd. Mm -hmm. What about the conference week? The Mexican representative representatives. Mm -hmm. It's on Friday, the 25. No, 26. 26. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, Brian, repeat after me 22nd. 22nd. Uh, 26. 26. Okay. Six. Yes. Joel. Repeat after me and say, check. Check. Agenda. 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 Representatives. Representative. Representatives. Representative. Very good. So it says, Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Mire con el consultor, consultant. On Monday, November 22nd. No se le olvide, ¿ok? Cuando usted vea estas abreviaciones aquí, son los números ordinales. No va a decir 22, va a decir 22nd, ¿ok? What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. ¿Ok? 26th. Saca la lengua. When is Susan's meeting, guys? When? When is Susan's meeting? On November. Uh -huh. 22nd. Excellent. On Monday, November 22nd. And do you think Susan has a busy agenda? I think just yes. why because he has two important event events in the web. Excellent. Yes, because she has two important events in the week. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Okay, guys. Now let's move. Okay, let's move. Okay, so right now, let's see. Uh, look at, at both tables, okay? Look at both tables. Yeah, look at both tables and the calendars. Let's see. We have months of the year, pronunciation, okay? Uh, I need one volunteer to read. Me? Okay, go, Mirna. Month of the year, January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, 
September, October, November, December. Excellent, okay. Tell me three events that we have in December. Um, I have to uh, dinner office. Oh, okay, uh -huh. you have uh, the Christmas party. Uh -huh. And I have to uh, uh, meeting familiar. A uh, familiar, okay, a meeting with my family. A meeting with my family. Okay, number three. And I have, and I have to buy presents. Perfect. You have to buy presents. Excellent. Okay. Uh huh. What else do you have, guys, on December? What else do you Christmas have? Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. What else? And New Year. Yes. New Year's Eve. Yes. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right, guys. So very good pronunciation. Okay, with the months of the year. Okay, guys. So now let's move and we are going to uh, go to the reading a work schedule. Okay, let me show my other screen. Okay. Where is it? This one. Okay, guys. So we are going to complete the exercises. Okay. Look at the schedule. Remember it. Work schedule, schedule, ¿ok? Un horario de trabajo, ahí tiene un horario de trabajo, ¿ok? Tenemos una lectura, pequeña lectura. So, work schedule, necesito un voluntario que nos ayude a leer todo el work schedule. Work Me? schedule, ok, Marina, go. Work schedule, April 6th at... 12, 12. <coughs> Name, schedule. Vilma White, Monday, uh, at Friday. To Friday. To Friday, uh, 7 to uh, 2, 7 to 3. Yes. Fred Fritz, Monday. Wednesday, Friday, 12 to 3. Yes. Katy Maes, Tuesday, Saturday, 12 to 3. Mm -hmm. And Minha, Tuesday, Thursday, 10 to 6. Perfect. All right. So now, who starts work before 12 noon? Who? Kate Mays. Kate Mays. Okay. Are you sure? Before. Okay. Before me. Uh, Wil Wilma and White. Okay. And Minha. Okay. So Wilma White and Minha. Okay, guys. Who starts work before 12 noon? Quien. Acuérdense que who significa quien. Katie and Fred. Okay. Katie and Fred. Okay. So in this case, who? Quien comienza a trabajar. Okay. Who starts work? Before is antes. So before 12 noon. De acuerdo a, a este horario. Quien comienza a trabajar antes de las dos. Vilma White and Minha. And Minha? Okay. Let's check. Let's see. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Yes, excellent. All right. Number two. Let's move. Who starts work at 10 a.m.? Minha. 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 Correct. Very good. Number three. Who finishes work? After. After means después. So who finishes work Minha. after three? Minha. 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 Okay. 
Let's see. Correct. Very good. Number four. How many hours does Fred work on Wednesday? Three. Three? Let's see. Twelve. One, two, three. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, three. Number five. Who works three hours a day? Fred. 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 And Katie. And Katie. Okay. Katie. All right. Let's see. Very good. And the last one. Who starts work before 10? Wilma White. Okay. So, Wilma White. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Now, let's move to the second one. Ahora vamos con el segundo. Es un poquito más largo, okay? So, we have Jam's Nail Salon. Okay? Work schedule. Week of June 15th to 20. Okay? Yeah. So, we have manicurists, pedicurists, and receptionists. Okay, look at this. Look at this schedule. Okay, which employees don't work on Fridays? Which employees don't work on Fridays? Barb. Barb. Okay. Barb and Pat. Pat and Pat. And Sophia. And Sophia, okay. All right, let's check. Ah. Right, very good. Number two, which employee goes to lunch early on Monday? Which employees? Sophia. Goes... Sophia? Barb, Sophia. Barb and Sophia. And Kim. And Kim. Mm -hmm. Lin. Okay, let's see. And Lin. Okay, so let's see. Which employee goes to lunch early on Mondays? Kim. Kim. It's Kim. Okay, let's check Kim. Yes, okay. Mire, el lunes, la única que tiene el, el acerisco, okay, the star is Kim. Monday. Monday. Aquí dice ¿Quién va temprano a almorzar el lunes? Okay, we know that Lisa, right, um, John, but it's on Monday, on Monday. Okay, number three. How many manicurists are employed at Jan's Nail Salon? How many? Five. Six. Six. Six? Yes. Okay. Kim, one. Barb, two. Lynn, three. John, four. Lisa, five. And who? Six. Let's see if we have somebody else. No, right. Okay. Six. Are you sure? Yes. Yep. Very good. Number four. How many pedicures are employed? Three. Three. Okay. Yes. Three. Yes. Very good. Three. Number five. How many employees work on Wednesday? On Wednesday. 
Seven. 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 Okay. Correct. And the last one. Which employee has two different jobs? Who? Mary. El empleado que tiene dos trabajos distintos. Mary. Mary. Why Mary? Because she's a pedicurist and receptionist. Very Mary. good. Yes, because we have Mary, pedicurist, receptionist, Mary. Very good. Let's see if, if she is the one. Correct. Excellent. Okay, guys. I'm going to take the attendance and get ready because we are going to start with the quizzes. Okay, prepare porque vamos con los exámenes. Okay. Bye. Say present, ¿ok? Diga presente y empiece a listar los exámenes, ¿ok? All right. So, let's see. Um, give me one second. Ok. So, Amanda Yesenia López. Present. Thank you. Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Andrea. Brian Alexander Monterrosa. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Vega. Carlos. Dina Maribel Rivas. Here's teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo Enríquez. Enrique Arturo. Janet Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jacqueline Marlene Pérez. Jacqueline. Joel Alberto Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel Rosa. Kevin. Luis Ernesto Manzanares. Luis Giovanni Villa. Mirna Yesenia Jiménez. Present. Thank you. Noemi Claribel. Present. Thank you. Eunice Álvarez. Ok. Oscar Giovanni Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Ronald Eduardo Otero. Rosibel Hernández. Present. Thank you. Jancy Odalis Rendero. Kenny Alexandra Montenegro. Marlon Orlando Calles. Ok. All right, guys. Um, let's see. We are going to start with the first listening. Vamos a comenzar con el primer listening. Ok. Um, Bueno, creo que ya lo tienen todos, ¿verdad? ¿Ya todos están en el primer listening? Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes, ok. Yo no puedo ingresar. Eh, Pudiese compartir el link, teacher. Bueno, aquí se lo voy a mandar. Ahí está. No me lo voy a dar. Copia y péguelo, entonces el que yo acabo de mandar. Copio el código y péguelo. Ah. Ese es el primero, entonces, el primero. Dice. Yes. Lo va a enviar al, al WhatsApp. Ya lo mandé. Ah, ok. En la tarde mandé los links. Ah, okay. ese, ese era. Sí, ahí está. Está el primero, el segundo, el tercero que vamos a hacer. El que dice primer. Eh, el que dice, ya le digo cómo dice. Um, el que dice, el, dice uno. Y ahí está el código. Pero todo, fíjese de que cuando lo quiero copiar, me sa lo tengo que copiar todo. No. Porque todo junto me cayó. No, solo dele, dele clic. Ok, se lo voy a ver a mandar, ok. Ok. Sí. 
Bueno. Para los que lo necesitan en WhatsApp, se los voy a mandar en WhatsApp. Teacher, I have a problem. Why? Ah, yes, I saw. Sí, ya me fijé. Vuelve a ingresar. Vuelvo a ingresar. Bueno, sí, ingrese nuevamente. Eh, vaya. Eh, Rosibel, ahí está el link. Sí, teacher, gracias. Vaya. Y el código es el listening siempre. Uh -huh. Es que Bye. así como lo mandó, no, no da. Vaya, ahora. Me avisan cuando ya se la iba a decir algo a los que están en móvil. Que lo que tienen que hacer es vaya, abrir el link, luego este, regresar al, al Zoom y luego regresar al, al link que abrieron para escuchar lo que la teacher pone. Y se queda en chiquitito la pantallita del Zoom encima del examen y ahí sí, sí, sí se puede oír, porque de lo caso contrario no, se, no, no van a oír el, el examen del listening. Va. Ok, voy a poner el listening para que me confirmen que todos escuchen. Okay. No puedo ingresar. Ah, ok, so. Eh, Joel, ponga, ponga solamente Joel, solo su primer nombre. Okay. Yes, I... All right, perfect. Okay, guys, so let me know if you're able to listen, okay? Matt, my name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juani. Yes? Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to play it twice. So, best se la voy a poner. Okay. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Again. No, no Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Don't. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan. And then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Ready or one more time? One more time. <laughs> okay. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well... I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Ready or... 
or no? Or one more time? One more time. Okay, the last one, guys. Okay, the last time. Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, for the ones that need one more time, here we go. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent 10 years in Korea, Germany, and Japan, and then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What are you studying? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. Good. Okay, send send your, your answers, okay? Mandelo. Let me see. Let me see the scores. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay, I got Amanda. Okay, Brian, Carlos, excellent. Dina, Maribel. Perfect. Giovanni, very good. Joel, okay. Mirna, excellent. Noemi, perfect. Rosibel, very good. Janet, excellent. Okay. All right, now let's prepare for the second one. Ahora vámonos con el segundo, okay? Vamos a prepararnos para el segundo, okay? Le voy a mandar el segundo también. Um, okay, para los que pueden abrirlo aquí en, en el chat aquí, aquí se los mando primero y ya se lo voy a mandar al, al WhatsApp. Código es el mismo, guys. Listening, ¿ok? Eh, ahorita les mando el WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Ese es el código. Ese es el link. Y el código es el mismo. Listening, ¿ok? El mismo, el mismo. Listening. Ok. Let me know once you are in. Me hace saber cuando ya esté dentro, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Ah? okay. Perfecto. Okay. Okay, Noemi. Okay, let me know. Brian? Ready? <clears throat> well? Ready. Okay, Brian? Great. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Aquí vamos. Okay. Okay, let's pay attention, guys. Let's pay attention. Number one, the school begins on March 7th. Number two, my sister will travel to France on January 19th. Number three. We'll take the test on November 22nd. Number four. On June 8th, the store will have a big sale. Number five. Can you send me an email by September 30th? Number six. You need to turn in your homework by May 14th. Number seven. What time will your mom come on July 2nd? Number eight. The new students arrive on December 29th. Number nine. My girlfriend and I went out for the first time on May 1st. 
Number 10. I'll return to my country on October 5th. Done. Perfect. And the other ones? The demands? Una vez más? One more time. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Number one. The school begins on March 7th. Number two. My sister will travel to France on January 19th. Number three, we'll take the test on November 22nd. Number four, on June 8th, the store will have a big sale. Number five, can you send me an email by September 30th? Number six. You need to turn in your homework by May 14th. Number seven. What time will your mom come on July 2nd? Number eight. The new students arrive on December 29th. Number nine. My girlfriend and I went out for the first time on May 1st. Number 10. I'll return to my country on October 5th. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. okay, perfect. Let me see. Let me check. Was it difficult? Es muy difícil. El anterior estuvo más difícil. Okay, el anterior. Okay, okay. Very, I see 100, I see 70s, 80s. 90s. Okay, guys. Now, okay, very good. Okay. Well, right now, um, yes, let's continue with the following. This one is uh reading, okay? Esa es lectura. Vaya, este. Ya se los mandé aquí. Bueno, lo voy a mandar también al WhatsApp, okay? Esta es lectura. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Va a agregar los verbos en terceras personas. Tiene que escribir. ¿Okay? Cuando ya termine, me dice. Teacher. Yes. Eh, el verbo. El verbo al que está en paréntesis. Ajá. Usted lo tiene eh, que poner en tercera persona. Sí. Ah, sí, sí, es que es, es como cruzadito, ¿verdad? Sí, están los espacios. Creo que como está en el celular lo ve como. En los, es, ajá, lo ve distinto.
It's Dawn. Thank you. Finish. Perfect. Let me check. Let me see. Down teacher. Thank you. Let me see. Yes, I got Mirna. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, I mean. Very good. Let's wait a little bit for the other ones to finish. Mm, let me see Amanda.
Sí. Mando Carlos o Emilia Rosibel. Very good. Okay, guys, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. So, we are going to cover vocabulary before we go to speaking. Let's see. Um, from one to five, Rosibel, healthy reading, please. From one to five, Amanda, from six to 12. Okay, teacher. Word, eh, teacher, olvido cómo se dice el, el schedule. 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 Word, schedule, vocabulary. Call in. Late. Work schedule. Chain. Permanent. Absent. Schedule, say, time off, vacation, break, overtime. Thank you. All right. So, Did yes, guys, like... don't worry. It's okay. So, we have from 1 to 12. So, call in. What is the meaning of call in? What is the meaning? Llamada entrante. Ah, uh, ok, yes, call in puede ser llamada entrante, pero también puede ser llamar a algún lugar. Oh, ok, okay. Yes. all right, but yes. Now, what is the meaning of late? Tarde. Tarde, work schedule. Horario de trabajo. What is your work schedule, Mirna? Excuse me. What is your work schedule? Horario de trabajo. Yeah, what is it? What is yours? Yes, uh, it is uh, 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 6, 3, 30 p.m. Excellent. Okay, very good. Change means cambiar. Okay, yeah, cambiar. Yeah. Permanent means permanent. permanent. Yeah. Yes, let me ask you, is your work schedule permanent or does it change? Permanent. Permanent. Okay. Es permanente el horario de trabajo, okay? Very good. What is the meaning of absent? Absent. absent. Ausente. Cuando usted no llega al trabajo, cuando alguien no llega al trabajo, absent. That, esa persona, that person is absent. Esa persona está ausente. That person is absent. Now, this one is schedule. 
Schedule, horario. Horario. Shift. Cambio también. Eh, shift. Yo es, creo que es como un cambio en el horario. Could be shift puede significar cambio, pero shift es como decir turno. Si yo le pregunto, what is ah. your shift? Puede decirme, ah, morning or afternoon. Algunos incluso trabajan en la noche. ¿Ok? El turno, el turno de la mañana, morning shift. El turno de la tarde, afternoon shift. El turno de la noche, night shift. Mm -hmm. Now, we also okay. have, yeah, time off. Descanso. Descanso. Tiempo libre. Tiempo libre. Time off, right? Yes, the time off. Yes. Vacation. Do you have vacation in December? Yes. Yes. Okay, Rosina. No. No, Mirna? Okay. And you, Carlos, do you have vacation? In no. December? No. I don't you don't have? Okay. And no. you and you, Joel, do you have vacation in December? Some, some days. Some days, okay, very good. And you, Brian, do you have vacation in December? Uh, one day. One day, okay. One day. One day, okay, very good. Break. Break means descanso, descanso. Un receso. Ajá, como un receso, your break. Do you have breaks? No? I yes. don't break. Okay, I don't have breaks, Rosibel. I don't have a break. Okay, and you, Joel, do you have breaks? Yes. Uh, uh, I have break in at midnight. A midnight? Oh. At midnight, excuse me. En la medianoche o, a, o en la tarde? Eh, mediodía, ¿cómo se...? Ah, at noon, at noon. At noon, so, okay. sorry, at noon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, Brian, do you have breaks? Yes? Mm, okay, so now, overtime. What is the meaning of overtime? Horas extras. Horas extras. Tiempo extra trabajado. Yes. Correct. Do you do overtime? Do you do overtime? Yes. No, yes. I don't. No, I don't. And you, Joel, do you do overtime? Yes. Uh, I sometimes. I sometimes do overtime. And you, Brian, do you do overtime? No. No, you don't. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, now let's move and let's go to conversation time, okay? Now, yes, conversation time, okay? Let's move to conversation and we are going to practice with some questions, okay? How do you spend a rainy day? What is a rainy day? A rainy day is un día lluvioso. Día lluvioso. Ajá, ¿cómo usted pasa un día, un día lluvioso? ¿Cómo usted eh, pasa? ¿Toma café? ¿Qué hace? Yes. Simple I usually, uh -huh. I usually drink a chocolate. I usually drink chocolate. Okay, very good. All right. So then. I usually drink coffee and bread. I usually drink coffee, okay, and you eat bread. Excellent. Uh -huh. What about the other ones? What do you do? How I do you spend a rainy day? Uh -huh. I sometimes sleep in the afternoon. I sometimes sleep in the afternoon. Very good. Yes, excellent. And what's your favorite film? My favorite film is Arguyi Prejuicio. Okay, all right. And the other one? The same? Oh yes. my God, really? Okay. 
in your favorite film, Amanda? Um, Forrest Gump. <laughs> okay, Forrest Gump. That is a good movie, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Okay, and what's your favorite song? Your favorite song, guys? What is your favorite song? My favorite song. It's a, uh, and it's a moment. Mm -hmm. I am not the only one. I am not the only one, okay. And the other ones? At My this favorite... moment is mm -hmm. all I want for Christmas. Ah, all I want for Christmas. By Maria Carey. Excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. My favorite song in this moment is Gypsy. Okay. It's an old song. Okay. It's an old song. Okay. Very yes. good. Okay. And the other ones? Brian Hoel, Rosibel, Kevin Maribel. My favorite song is, is Heroes del Silencio. Okay. Heroes del Silencio. Yes. Okay. okay. My favorite right. song is uh, a dungeon. Okay. Very good. And yours, Brian? My favorite, uh, my favorite song is Last Christmas. Last Christmas. Uh -huh, okay, comedy. excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. And yours, Maribel? Uh-huh. My favorite song is Salsa. Which one? Cuál? Mm, miss at moments. Okay. Any, cualquiera. Yes. Any, okay, okay. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So now, let's continue, okay? Let's continue. So, right now, I'm going to create breakout rooms. Voy a crear salitas para que practiquen estas tres. Okay? So, what do you do to relax? ¿Qué hace para relajarse? Quiero que me diga todas las actividades que hace. Okay? Piense, piense. Number five. What's your favorite season and why? A ver, ¿qué me puede decir las estaciones, las seasons of the year? Which are the seasons of the year? Summer, fall, winter, and autumn. Excellent. Summer, fall. Okay, fall and autumn is the same, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Summer, autumn, winter. Winter. And a spring, primavera. Spring, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, quiero que se me diga cuál es su season, su estación favorita y por qué. Okay? Y luego, when is your birthday? Okay? I'll give you around five minutes, five to, to seven minutes to practice. Okay? And then we're going to come back. All right, guys. So let's create the rooms. Okay? Si no se puede unir a la sala, no se una, se queda aquí. If you are driving, because I know that some of you are driving. Eh, Maribel, le llegó la invitación. Sí, teacher, solo que 
en lo que yo estaba tomando la captura, pero ni, ni siquiera la pude tomar porque se cambió eh, lo que íbamos a hacer. No lo pude tomar. No sé si ah, me lo puede enviar. Si sí. quiere, me lo vuelve a enviar, por favor. Pensando. Gracias. Se lo voy a mandar a WhatsApp nuevamente. Vaya, gracias. Vaya, se lo mandé ahí a WhatsApp. Joel, are you there? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Joel. Kevin. Present, teacher. Ok. Are you there? Can you practice? Voy a practicar. Eh, fíjese que voy de camino para la casa, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Eh, Rosibel. Hello. Ok. So, tiene el micrófono apagado, Rosibel. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Ok. All right. So, Rosibel, how do you spend a rainy day? What do you do? What do um I always uh, I am work I work I always uh -huh. uh, I am at work okay okay and what's your favorite film your favorite film um my favorite song is um, Elton John. Um, no, your favorite movie, your favorite film. Uh, ah, music. Oh no, I'm I'm talking about number two, favorite film. Ah, uh, film. Um. You usually um I don't watch TV. You don't watch TV? Uh I don't I don't como se dice no me queda tiempo. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So now let me ask you, what do you do to relax? What do you do uh, to relax? Tendría que decirle my verdad, my relax. No, in this case puede decir eh, I relax. Aquí le estoy preguntando I, qué hace para relajarse. ¿Qué hace? I relax um, dancing. Ok. <laughs> With uh, my grandchildren. Ok, perfect. What else do you do to relax? What else? ¿Qué más hace para relajarse? What else? Exercise. I exercise. Exercise. Um, only. Only that. Only that. Okay. And what's your favorite season? Uh, my favorite season is um summer. Summer? Why summer? Why? Uh, because I don't like rain. I don't like the rain. Mm -hmm. And what I do don't. you do? What do you do in summer? Um, 
always work. I don't like uh, go uh, go place. You don't like to go to places. To places. Mm, you stay at home. I stay at home. Mm -hmm. And watch uh, watch videos in my cell. On my cell phone. On my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Or um, watch TV with my grandson, my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And when is your birthday, you said? Uh, my birthday is on January mm -hmm. 28th. 28th. Very good. Okay. All right. So, Janice, are you on your way home? No, aún no, teacher. Estoy en un lugar bien ruidoso. Aún no he llegado, pero, pero me puede preguntar. Ah, okay. All right. So, Janet, what do you do to relax? I, I do, I do exercise. Okay. And what's your favorite season? I I prefer winter. Winter? Why? Because I I love the the cl cold climb. The cold weather. The cold weather. Okay, very good. And when is your birthday, Janet? My birthday is on September and December tenth. Yeah, December tenth. Okay, very good. All right. So thank you. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Vámonos al salón al salón principal. Yes. Let me close all the rooms. Okay. Okay. So we are going to wait for the other ones to join. Let's wait for the other ones to join. Okay. Noemi, what do you do to relax? I I drink coffee alone. Mm -hmm. I first I take a shower and yeah, then I uh, drink coffee and sleep. Excellent. Very good. What about you, Amanda? What do you do to relax, Amanda? I usually sleep. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I do crochet. Okay. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. And, and I paint. Excellent. Very good. All right. Very good. And you, Joel, what do you do to relax? Uh, I read. I read some books. You read some books. Okay. Perfect. Uh, my favorite book is the El Principe de Tomás Machiavelli. Really good book, right? Yes. It is a really good book. What about you, Brian? What do you do to relax? Uh, listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, very good. And what's your favorite season, Joel? Uh, my favorite season is win uh, winter. Why winter? Uh, because I drink coffee uh, yeah, and I like uh, the, the aroma. Uh, no sé cómo se, how do you say aroma? The smell. How do you how? A smell. The como? How, A smell. A smell. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay. The smell. The smell. Okay. I like it. It's smell. I like the smell. 
I like the smell. Excellent. Okay, guys. So now let's move and we are going to start with the present continuous. Okay? The present continuous. So, guys, with the present continuous, we have two usages. Yeah? The first one is action happening now and action in the future. Amanda, can you please help us reading both of them? Okay. We use the present continuous to talk about yes. action happening now. Yes. For action happening exactly now. Mm -hmm. Action in the future. Yes. We only use the present continuous tense to talk about the future when we have planned to do something before we speak. We have already made a decision and a plan before speaking. Perfect. Okay, guys, with the present uh, continuous, yeah, present continuous, okay, present continuous. So with the present continuous, we use um, this tense to talk about actions happening now. For example, we are, we are taking, taking, ing, we are taking English classes, actions in the future. Acciones en el futuro también. For example, you are working tomorrow. You see? Es una acción de mañana. También utilizamos para acciones a futuro. So, let's see structures, okay? Estructuras. Yeah? So, we have subject, verb to be in positive, Verb in ing and the complement. Okay, so we have I am the verb to be teaching right now. Negative subject, verb to be in negative, verb in ing plus complement. And we have I am not eating right now. You are not eating right now. Yeah. In the question, empezamos con el verbo to be, mire. Am I eating right now? Possible answers. Las respuestas posibles. Yes. I am. Or, no, I am not. Rosibel, are you eating right now? No, I am not. Joel, are you sleeping right now? Uh, no, I, no, I am not sleeping yeah. right now. Okay. Noemi, are you dancing right now? No, I'm not. Okay. Maribel, are you drinking coffee right now? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Are you drinking coffee right now? Yes. Yes, I am. I am, yes. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, Janice, are you driving right now? Yes, I think that she's driving right now. Okay, so you see, then action happening now. Cosas que están pasando en este momento. Yeah, y fíjese la estructura. Okay, so now let's see. Give me examples. I want to listen examples. Examples. Dígame un ejemplo cada uno. A ver, vamos a llamar uno por uno. Le voy a dar cinco segundos para que lo piense. Five seconds. Okay, Joel. Example is the... Yeah, present continuous. Present continuous. 
Uh, I, I am studying right now. Okay. Pronunciation. Studying. Studying. Excellent. Possible. Thank you. I am... I am... Uh, uh, I am English class right now. I am receiving English class. I am receiving, receiving English class. Okay. English class right English now. English class right now. Noemi? I'm trying writing English class. Very good. I am writing my English class. Very good. Maribel? Solo permítame un segundo, ya le voy a contestar. Ok. Ok, in the meantime, Amanda. I am speaking now. Yes, I am speaking now. Very good. Brian Alexander? I am studying English right now. Excellent. I am studying. Studying. Right. Thank you. Kevin? Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Give me one example, Kevin. Present continuous. I am arriving at home. <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, very good. Okay. Let me see. Hey, Carlos Amaya. I am sleeping at the moment. I am sleeping at the moment. Come on, Carlos. Okay, wake up. <laughs> I'm walking to the park with my family. Okay, oh my God. Okay, Janet. Yes. Now, guys, look at this. Okay, look at this, guys. We use time expressions, and the time expressions that we use are right now. Es como, right now, es como decir ahorita. Yes, es como decir en este momento. At the moment, en este momento. At this time, en este momento. Now, ahorita. Currently, actualmente. Son expresiones que utilizamos con el presente continuous. Yes. So, we are receiving English classes. We are reading. We are listening to the teacher. We are speaking in English. We are paying attention. We are working. We are walking. We are sleeping. We are drinking water. We are writing, etc. Yeah. So we use the ing plus the verb to be. Okay. Now we also have we also have actions in the future. Okay, actions in the future. So the time expressions that we use are tonight. Tomorrow, this weekend, next Monday, next Friday, next Saturday, next week, next weekend, and next year. Tonight, esta noche. Tomorrow, mañana. This weekend, este fin de semana. Next Monday, el próximo lunes. Next Friday, el próximo viernes. Next Saturday, el próximo sábado. Next week, la próxima semana. Next weekend, el próximo fin de semana. Next year, el siguiente año. So, the structure is the same. La estructura es la misma. Fíjense bien, lo que cambia is going to be the time expression, la expresión de tiempo que va al final. 
Eso es lo que cambia. Para referirnos a cosas del futuro, vamos a poner una expresión de tiempo de futuro, de esas que están aquí. ¿Sí? Si yo quiero decir, mañana trabajo. ¿Ok? Mañana voy a trabajar. I am working tomorrow. ¿Ok? So, mañana trabajaré. Yes. Si usted quiere decir, esta noche cenaré con mis amigos. ¿Cómo lo podemos decir? I am, I am eating tonight with my friends. Okay. I am eating with my friends tonight. I am eating with my friends tonight. For example, if you want to say, estoy yendo a la playa este, este fin de semana. ¿Cómo lo puede decir? I am going to the beach this weekend. Excellent. I am going to the beach this weekend. Correct. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, that Janet is traveling next week. So, Janet is traveling next week. Mm -hmm. I am having a date tomorrow at noon. I am having a date tomorrow, noon, at noon. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. More examples, guys. Ejemplos de ustedes que estén haciendo próximamente a futuro. Cosas que vayan a hacer. I'm buying new clothes tonight. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Ajá. Rosibel. <laughs> A preguntarle, Iba, que sería at, at, no. Digamos, de el próximo viernes. The next. Oh, next Friday. The next Friday. Uh -huh. uh, the meaning, uh, the meaning with, no sé cómo se dice, o sea, yo pertenezco a un grupo de primeros auxilios, pero no sé cómo se dice. Grupo de primeros auxilios. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Se va a reunir con ellos? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, puede decirlo de la siguiente manera ok um, mm -hmm. so I am meeting up ok I am meeting up with se lo voy a escribir I am meeting up with se lo voy a poner para que lo vea aquí okay. I am meeting up Meeting up with my first aid team. I see. I am meeting up with my first aid team. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I am meeting. I am meeting up with my first a team. team. Yes, e, esta I suena como una E. Uh -huh. First. 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 First a team. First a team. What means a? Aid. Eso es como decir eh, primeros auxilios. First a. Ah, ok. Y el team ya es el grupo, ¿verdad? De primeros auxilios. Ok. 
Yes. I am meeting up with my first team. Eight team. team. Yes. Okay, very good. All right, guys. So uh, next Friday. Next, next Friday. Friday. Next Friday, I will have dinner with co -work, co workers. Okay, but in this case, I need to use present continuous, Kevin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Present continuous, Kevin. La misma oración, Kevin, pero en presente continuous. Ajá. Era en presente continuo. Yes, so, eh, sí, en ese momento estamos viendo lo del futuro, pero con el presente continuous. Dígame la misma oración, pero con el presente continuous. Para hacerla de esa manera, ¿cómo sería, Ticha? Ok, veamos. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? I am working right now. Ok, I am working right now. Yes, very good. Kevin, ok, so Kevin, mire, sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto de su oración? Eh... Bueno, lo, lo que le trato de decir, el próximo viernes cenaré con los compañeros de trabajo. Sí, vaya, ¿cuál es el sujeto de su oración? ¿Quién es el sujeto? Eh, compañeros. Pues usted. Sí. Usted. Ajá. ¿Usted qué? Ay. Ay, porque usted es el que va a ir, Kevin. Usted es el sujeto eh, que va a ir. Por eso dice, next Friday, I will. Oh, no, ok, so I, uh -huh. presente continuous, verb to be. I next Friday. No. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be para I? No sé, teacher. Um. Um. El verbo to be. Um. um. Okay. So, next Friday, I am. Verbo en ING. Uh -huh. I am having dinner. With my no co-workers. No, no, Kevin. Because we are covering the present continuous. Porque estamos hablando del presente continuous. Por supuesto que su, su oración está correcta. Ok. Por supuesto que sí. Pero estamos cubriendo el presente continuous. Entonces esa misma oración. La puede decir, lo mismo que me acaba de decir, la misma idea se puede decir con el presente continuous y es mucho mejor. Entonces, sería, next Friday, I am have dinner with co-workers. Yes, I am having, porque el ING tiene que ir en el verbo. I am having. having. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Yes, very good. Ok. Um, para eso utilizamos el presente continuous, guys, para evitarnos utilizar el will y el otro que es el going to, ¿ok? Porque la mayoría de veces vamos a utilizar el presente continuous para el futuro. Suena más natural. ¿Ok? So now, um, let's see. Do you have any question? ¿Tiene preguntas? Teacher. El, el, lo que le dijo a, a Kevin yes. eh, Javi el verbo tendría que ir así en, con el ING yes, siempre siempre sí porque como recuerde que es I am y el verbo Ajá. y que él dijo voy a cenar verdad entonces es I am having porque cuando Ajá. decimos have dinner have lunch right so I am ah. having dinner pero mi pregunta más que todo es si todos los verbos van a ir así. Sí, todos. En ese, porque, porque entonces sería el mío, por eso era I am meeting, ¿verdad? Yes, correcto. Por eso yo le puse meeting. Uh -huh. Sí, ok, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, uh, this example is uh, I, I, am, I am eating 
fishes next week. I am eating fish this week. Next week. Next week, yes. Que va a comer next pescado week. la próxima semana. Yes. Okay. Yes, you are eating fish next week. Yes, it is correct. Any other doubts? No. Que nos invite Joel a comer pescado. <laughs> yes. <Joel. laughs> Yes. Okay. Really? <laughs> yes, okay. All right, guys. True or false? Let's see. I need one volunteer to read this. Me. Okay, go. Next week, it's very busy for me. On Monday, we're going to the science museum with school. On Tuesday, our grandparents are visiting us on, we on Wednesday. I'm playing tennis. On Thursday, my sister is taking me shopping. On Friday, I'm staying at home. Very good. So look at this. Fíjense en esto, guys. Okay? Alguien le, lo saca, dice. ¿Quién es el que les, lo saca de la clase? Eh, oh, a Maribel. Okay. Bye. Sí, a Maribel la saca. Okay. So... Guys, uh, look at this, okay? Look at this. So as you can see, we have present continuous. Fíjese, todos los verbos están en presente continuous. Mire, todas las oraciones. Todas, 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 todas. Dice, next week is very busy for me. On Monday, we're going. Tenemos las contracciones, okay? We're going. Eso de we are. We are going to the science museum with school. On Tuesday, our grandparents are visiting us. I-N-G. Visiting us. On Wednesday, I am playing tennis. On Thursday, my sister is taking me shopping. Mire, mi hermana me va a llevar a comprar. Is taking me. Me está llevando a mí. Is taking me shopping. On Friday, I am staying at home. Voy a quedar en la casa el viernes. Now, letter A. She is very busy next week. True. What about letter B? On Monday, she is going to the art museum. True or false? True. 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 No, false. False. Why false? Oh. Because yeah. it's the science, the science museum. museum, not the yeah. art museum. Uh -huh. Correct, because it's the science museum. No es el art, es science museum. Okay? What about letter C? On Tuesday, her aunt and uncle are visiting. False. 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 Why false? Because, because I, she we visit your grandfathers. Yes, grandparents. grandparents. Okay, so it's false. Okay, what about D? On Thursday, her sister is taking her to the cinema. False, false. false. Why false? Because he's taking her to shopping. To shopping. Okay, very good. And letter E. On Friday, she is at home. True. 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 That is true. True. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. All right, let's move. Let's move. Okay, now is your turn. Necesito que me cree tres oraciones con cualquiera de estos verbos y me las va a mandar al chat. Yes? Plan, call, check, write, spend, send, sorry, or speak. Three, elige tres verbos y me manda tres oraciones al chat. ¿Ok? Present continuous, guys. Present continuous.
Ok. No sé. I am writing three sentences right now. I am calling... I am calling my friends sin el tú, Noemi. Mm, okay, Janet, I am sending emails to my clients. I am calling my mother. I am checking my email. Very good. Yes, Janet. I am speaking English. Yes, Carlos. Tomorrow, I am calling my family. Perfect, Kevin. Yes, excellent. Very good, Kevin. Um. I am planning a vacation with my husband. Okay. Um, I am writing my English class right now. Yes. Um, let me see, Amanda. I am planning a vacation with my husband. Okay, I am planning. Uh -huh. Al deletreo. Okay, thank you. Yes, very good. I am checking my email tomorrow at work. Yes. Okay, guys, what are you doing tomorrow at work? Or what are you doing tomorrow? Tell me things that you are doing tomorrow. I am editing photos tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. Very good. I am celebrate I my husband's birthday tomorrow. I am celebrating. I am celebrating. Yes, very good. You are I'm going, going to, to a, a party. party. You are going to a party. Yes, very good, Amanda. Mm -hmm. I am driving to work tomorrow. I am driving to work tomorrow. Excellent. Very good. Uh -huh. Let me see. I'm missing some. Y esta otra sería, I am going to travel tomorrow or I am traveling tomorrow. I am traveling tomorrow. Okay. Yes, I am traveling tomorrow. Yes. Okay. I am traveling tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. What questions do you have with the present continuous? ¿Qué preguntas tiene con el presente continuous? Yo solo una. Yes. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre el I will go o el I going to mm -hmm. con el I am y el ING al final de cada verbo? Tengo esa confusión. Mm -hmm. Porque, o sea, todos, yo, yo siento que son como para planear o hablar en el futuro. No sé. Todos, correcto. Todos, mm -hmm. todos, Janet, son básicamente para hablar del futuro. Uh -huh. el, um, el que estamos cubriendo en este momento es el presente continuous. Ese es básicamente cuando ya tenemos planeado lo que vamos a hacer. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Cuando utilizamos el will es cuando solo lo decimos porque en el momento lo planeamos, en el momento. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. el, el que estamos cubriendo en este momento es porque usted lo tiene planeado. Ah, oh, perfecto. Ok, el otro. Yes. Yes. O sea, de que el will sería como algo incierto. Correcto, incierto porque no es algo que usted tenga certeza Seguro. de ello. Correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces, esto es como una cita en, en el is, por decirlo así. Ajá. Ay, <risa> 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 Pero hay que ir, hay que ir. <risa> Pero es incierto okay. que vas a pasar tú. Ah, no, ya con cita tiene que pasar. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank, you, okay. Thank you. I'll see you back on, on Monday, okay? Enjoy your weekend. Have a good night. We are going to stop right here. See you soon. Yes, okay. So, just Carlos Amaya.
You please stay with me, okay? A little bit. Then the other ones, okay. you may rest. Vaya a descansar. Los demás ya se pueden retirar. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you on Monday. Good night. Good night, Kevin. Mm, I think that Maribel was having issues. Okay, so Carlos... Hi, Carlos. How are you? I'm good. Very good. Okay, Carlos. So good so far. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Carlos. So this space is for us to have our feedback, right? I would like to ask you a couple of questions. I would like to know how you feel with classes. I would like to ask you if you have had any issues with the platform, right? Um, How do you feel with your team right here when we go to the breakout rooms? Um, I want to know about your background, if you have studied English before, which is the most difficult part of the English language for you, things that you would like to share with me, okay? Okay, well, I'm, I am good with the classes, I feel good, I am learning too much, so much, okay. and yeah, I am studied um, before, but well, for my own, for okay. myself. Okay, really? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, have you always liked the English language? Yes. Okay, all right. Since when yes. you started learning English by yourself? Mm, when I was um, 12 years, 12 oh. years, yes. yes. Okay, perfect. That is awesome. Something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And tell me, which is like the most difficult part that you find in the English language? Okay, for now, I think it is um, the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. And well, um, the, um, the tense, um, the thing that I will see today, okay? Okay. Because <laughs> I never, yes. <laughs> Okay, I know how to use it, but I but uh, I don't know uh, how to um um like uh, I don't I don't know the the structure, mm -hmm. but uh, I can use it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes that is that is good, right? Because you you know how to use it, but sometimes we do not know the structures, right? I yes. mean, uh, just because you are studying English, you are learning the structures, but at the end, it is important, right? It is really important. Yes. But at the end, yes. the most important part is that you uh, are able to communicate, right? So yes. in this case, um, let me ask you then, which is the purpose of you learning English? Why did you decide learning English? Why? It's because uh, I, I like English. Okay. And, and, you and I was a child. So mm -hmm. that's what I, I start to learn English for myself. Okay. All right. So, and did you actually, uh, was, was you like here, right? Uh, last month yes you were here okay perfect all right with and... amanda kevin and giovanni brian okay yes all right, all right. excellent all right andrea perfect. andrea too and, oh yeah okay andrea perfect and what about the platform what about the platform Have well i'm okay with the platform okay all right. Yes. So do you have any question about any topic? I mean, something that you say, hey, teacher, I don't know, or I don't understand this part. No, everything is clear for me. Everything is, is okay for you? Very clear. Okay, perfect. So now, what do you think about the dynamic of the class? Well, I think it's very good because we practice the speaking mm -hmm. and yeah and we can practice um and do the the, the examples mm -hmm. and uh, correcting the things that we can um, do well mm 
Okay. All right. And what would you like me to include in classes? Well, I think it, everything it's okay. So uh, <laughs> I leave the 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 things like right now. Okay. Perfect. All right, Carlos. All right. And whenever you go to the breakout rooms, I mean, do you think that everybody is participating or have you encountered like somebody that is not participating? No, everybody is participating. Yeah. It's just that uh, some ones, it's very hard for them to participate because um, they don't know too much. That is correct. Okay, Carlos. So, Carlos, um, yes, and as you said before, sometimes it's kind of difficult for them to participate. That is correct. But, uh, well, I'm going to give you my feedback, right, about your performance so far. And I would say that you are one of the, um, the ones that participate a lot, right? You participate a lot, and that is really good because you are always participating and you are really active in class. Um, and I think that uh, the best part is that you are able to communicate, right? And most of the time you are saying things in a very good way. Now, um, okay. yes, what I, what I would uh, probably uh, suggest, right, is that whenever you are um, with your teammates in the breakout rooms, try to help them, right, whenever they are having like a hard time expressing some ideas, because sometimes... Yeah, they actually have a really difficult time, right? Whenever they, they are trying to, ex to express um, different ideas. So what I will say is that uh, try to help them. If you know that they are making a mistake, try to correct them, right? So they can um, improve as well, okay? So then I will say that your performance is really nice. You are really responsible, right? Just one, you, are, you have missed one day only i think yes right? just one yes just one. and i always help them to or when they are um when they don't know something or they are, are um pronunciation uh, are bad things okay perfect okay thank you right i really appreciate and, that and i think that i'm learning more because i have a um family in the united states three cousins <laughs> and i i talk with them and I have a friend that she just to speak in English excellent okay yes. I think that that is the the best part okay that you are um you yes. know you are using the English language outside the classes right and I think that yes. that helps a lot okay and and okay so I I feel happy because you are doing that okay that is really good Carlos yes and I remember that I learned um when I was uh, listening to music mm -hmm. and I am searching on the internet mm -hmm. uh, for um, classes, courses. Excellent, great, yes. all right. So that is really good, keep doing it, all right? Keep doing it because you are going to learn a lot. You are going to improve a lot and, and you are going to learn English really fast. Yes, but I I live to learn. Um, I think that I need to to practice more and and learn more, cause mm -hmm. I think that I forget some things, cause I don't practice um, since two thousand eighteen. I think so. Okay. So I forget some things, and how to pronunciate things too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you just need to probably uh, focus on that and you will see that you are going to remember a lot of things, right? Yes, okay. And and well, uh, during the classes, you are going to um, speak a lot. So don't worry about it, okay? At least in the classes, you are going okay. to be practicing with your classmates, right? Okay, all right, Carlos. So then... Um, okay, so and sorry with for the camera because the camera failed. Yes, don't worry, okay, Carlos. I do understand. Right now, yes. Okay, okay. okay. all right, Carlos. So, do you um do you want to add something else? No, everything is okay. Perfect, Carlos. Okay, so thank you. All right, thank you for uh, your responsibility, 
and I'll see you back on Monday. I hope you, you enjoy your weekend. Okay, thank you. You thank too. Thank you. Good night, Carlos. Good night.